This is David from the Fredcast. We're live from the show for Interbike TV, and I'm here with Gary Fisher. We're looking at the Superfly 100. Gary was just telling me that this bike's won a few races. This bike won the U.S. National Cross Country Pro Championship men's side and the marathon championships in the U.S. Oh, within a couple of weeks. Our rider, you know, Jeremy, is riding this thing. This bike is his insane friend. He is so happy with this bike. And this bike, it's made in uh, Wisconsin. And, uh, you know, it's like the lightest frame we're pulling out of that factory right now. It's insane. Now, you, made in Wisconsin, I mean, how many production bike companies are actually manufacturing in the United States anymore? A lot fewer than used to be. Yeah. You know, and we're keeping uh, that technology, you know, our highest end technology there. And we pulled out the stops on this bike, you know, as far as like uh, all the little tricks, subtle tricks like this year, um, this is all a one piece uh, seat stay up here. It keeps the whole rear end stiffer. Uh, as well as, you know, we offset the whole seat tube forward, you know, yeah. on the bottom bracket. And we put the pivot, lower pivot in, um, you know, a slightly different location. And that shortens up the rear end. And that helps stiffen up the rear end as well as, like, the, that little patch of rubber on the rear is closer to your crank set. So it's, a, you know, the maneuverability, you know, through the corners is actually quicker than it used to be. And, of course, it gets better traction out of the saddle, you know, than it used to be. As well, we put the APV pivots on it, you know, the braking pivots, and uh, it used to be our, our rear end pivots were above uh, the rear axle, and now they're right at the rear axle, and that also helped, like, uh, stiffen up the whole rear end. Now, what does the rider feel now that you've moved that pivot? How does that help the rider as they're out there on the road? Well, it's just, it's just the handling's more intuitive, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, being stiffer, you know, you never get that feeling when you're really, like, uh, leaning the bike over and, you know, tweaking it around, of, of the rear end, you know, flexing around. Sure. The front and rear wheels are really tight to each other in that way, you know. We're also, we put the uh, E2 tapered uh, steer column on this bike, mm -hmm. and that was, you know, I felt always really necessary on a 29er yeah. bike to get that, that fork from moving around and have a real more, uh, a lot more solid feel. So this bike is 110 millimeter travel on the rear, 100 millimeter on the front, and it feels more like a hardtail than you've ever ridden a squishy bike, you know, as far as like the power transmission. Um, as far as the handling goes, I mean, this bike, I mean, Jeremy just talks about in the World Cups where he's just like smoking past all the Euros on our 26-inch wheel bikes, you know. And of course, new rubber from Al, new Bontrager rubber, which is like, uh, this is light, it's got a ton of traction, and super fast set of tires, you know. it's. My, my team, they are so happy right now. <laughs> now, we, we, we talked a little bit about carbon fiber, and talk about how carbon fiber in frames when it comes to mountain bikes has changed. Well, carbon fiber, I mean, it is insanely complex how these frames are laid up. You know, the, all the different, fi different types of fibers, different layers of these fibers, and different orientations of the fibers. I'll tell you. To do this right takes a serious computer, a serious programmer, somebody that really knows what they're doing, and a lot of time. I mean, at the, out there in Wisconsin, I mean, we've been making carbon fiber stuff for, I think, close to 20 years now. You know, there's very few factories that have been making uh, carbon fiber as, uh, bicycles as long as we have. And we've gained just a huge amount of experience. And so I'm quite, quite pleased to get this product out of our little factory, because <laughs> Oh man, this thing is, like I say, I mean, my team, I have never had a, such a happy team as I do now. They feel like we have an unfair advantage. <laughs> and if you want your unfair advantage, get yourself a, a Superfly 100 from Fisher Gary. Great to talk to you. Have a great show. Thank you so much. This is David from the Fredcast. We're live from the show for Interbike TV.